Hare Krishna. So thank you very much, youth group from Iskon Krabi, for the wonderful um, Guru Ashtakam prayers offered to Srila Prabhupada. Always very nice offering from Prabhupada. Thank you. So we are very fortunate. We have uh, His Holy Yes BBB Swami here. We welcome you with our full heart. Thank you very much for always, always uh, guiding us and giving us your divine association. Um, please enlighten us with uh, some of the glories of Srila Prabhupada. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare, Hare Krishna. <clears throat> Om Jnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksuran Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Namah Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimati Bhaktivedanta Swaminiti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha sunyavadi paschacha desha tarine Vancha kaupata rubyascha kripa sindhu payevacha Patita nam pavane bio Vaishnavibyo namo namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasade Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare So we're having translation, Sumaduri. Somebody yes, goes, Mother. Who's translating? Uh, Sarah. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Dandavat Pranam. Who is this? I'm Karan. Karan. From Hawaii. You're going to translate, Prabhu? Yes, Maharaj. Okay. You're going to translate to Thai or to Nepali? I think Thai language. So I'm very happy to see that the devotees of Thailand, the youth of, the youth of Thailand are celebrating Srila Prabhupada's 125th anniversary of his appearance in the world. I'm sure if Srila Prabhupada was personally to come here to Thailand and see all of you youth singing and chanting, he'd be very happy. Although Srila Prabhupada was in his uh, 
older age, when he went to America, he attracted many, many young people. People were surprised to see so many young people be attracted to a spiritual movement. Usually we see when, when it's some religious program, you get a lot of older people, especially old ladies, they, they're very religious at the end of their life. It's generally expected of people that in their older age they'll become more religious, they, they're not thinking about money so much, and they're not thinking about having more children, they just simply think about what's going to happen to them at the time of death and where are they going to go. แล้วก็เป็นปกติของคนที่อายุมากที่พอท้ายชีวิตจะปฏิบัติตามหลักศาสนาเพราะว่าท้ายชีวิตคนก็จะไม่มีกำลังในการทำงานหาเงินหรือ
What age are you, Karen? I'm 19, Maharaj. Right, so Karen is 19. So if we ask Karen, where were you 21 years ago? Now, 21 years ago, I was much younger than I am now. But what about Kern? Kern is 19 now. Where was he 21 years ago? So can anybody answer? Do any of you people know? Any any answers from any of our young devotees? You're very quiet. You don't know? Nobody wants to say? Are you just shy? You don't like to speak? Who have we got here who I can ask? Who is here from Kosamoy? Who is here? From, what about Pat, uh, Phuket? Who is here from Phuket? Is Nandarani's daughter here? From Phuket? Maharaj. No, not today, Maharaj. Not today, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's too late to... What about Rajasuya's son? What's his name again? The one who plays and sings harmonium very nicely? Mohan Rupa. Mohan Rupa, right. Mohan Rupa. Who is Mohan Rupa? He's very intelligent. Mohan. Mohan. Yes, Maharaj. So I'm asking, I want to ask you, now today, Karan is 19 years old. So where was he 21 years ago? He was not born yet. Really? Where was he? In his mother's womb. Oh. Huh? Huh? We do not know what happened. You don't know? There is a hand raised, Maharaj. Really? Who's raised their hand? Amrit. Om Amrit. Om Amrit. Yes. Om yes. or Amrit. Who's going to answer? Both of them. You know what to ask? Yes. He what? said in material world. Yes, he was in the material world. Where was he? Vrindavan, Maharaj. Yeah, Vrindavan, yeah, and maybe. <laughs> we don't know. I don't know about that. From Vrindavan, they have to come to Hohen and take birth in Hohen. No, no. <laughs> People in Vrindavan don't take birth in Hohen. People in Vrindavan, then after taking birth in Vrindavan, next life they go back to Godhead. Anyway, we have to understand, 21 years ago, he must have had another body, some other place. Maybe he was an old person, we don't know. Maybe he was a man, maybe he was a woman. Maybe he was a man, maybe he was a woman. 
ชายแก่หรือว่าหญิงแก่อยู่ที่ใดสักที่หนึ่ง And sometimes people in their previous life they had the, the animal's body maybe they were a cow บางครั้งในชาติก่อนบุคคลก็อาจจะเคยเป็นสัตว์มาก่อนเช่นเป็นวัว I don't think Kern was a cow in his last life. I'm sure he must have been a good human being. ดังนั้นมาราสก็บอกว่าบางคนชาติก่อนก็อาจจะได้เป็นบุคคลที่ดี Because he's born in a pious family, and he's from his birth, he had the nice opportunity to hear about Krishna. แล้วก็คนนั้นก็มีโอกาสที่ได้เกิดในครอบครัวที่ดีเราก็ได้รู้จักคริสนาตั้งแต่อายุยังน้อย so that's a good birth because you only get that kind of birth by doing pious act by being a good person in your previous life การที่เราได้เกิดในครอบครัวของสาวกก็ถือว่าเป็นชีวิตที่ดีเพราะว่าแสดงว่าชาติก่อนๆเราได้สะสมบุญมาเยอะ in the Bhagavad Gita In the sixth chapter, Arjuna is worried because he said, "You know what happens if I become a devotee, and if I'm not successful, if I don't, if I'm not able to go back to Godhead, what will happen to me?" In the Bhagavad Gita, chapter six, Arjuna is worried that if we don't achieve the happiness of this life, what will happen to our future? What will happen to our future? Will I lose everything? I have given up my material life, and if I'm not successful with my spiritual life, will I lose everything? Arjuna ก็ถามว่าถ้าเกิดผมไม่ประสบความสำเร็จผมผมจะสูญเสียทุกอย่างที่เป็นทิพย์หรือไม่ So some of you may be thinking, if I become devotee, I don't know what will happen. I won't be. I won't. I, If if I become a devotee, I won't be very rich. I'm not going to make a lot of money as a devotee. บางคนก็อาจจะคิดว่าพอเราเป็นสาวกแล้วเราก็ไม่สามารถหาเงินเลี้ยงดูครอบครัวได้มาก So for some people, that's what they want. The goal of their life, they're thinking, I'm going to make a lot of money. I want to be very rich. สำหรับบางคนเป้าหมายในชีวิตก็คือการสะสมเงินทองมากๆแล้วก็มีฐานะร่ำรวย Right Who wants to make a lot of money oh. มีมีใครอยากร่ำรวยบ้างอ oh, ยากมีเงินเยอะ All of you boys น่าจะผู้ชายทุกคน I hope not I hope you don't want to make a lot of money ราชก็หวังว่าพวกเราจะไม่ได้โลภทางการเงินมาก The real wealth is not money. The real wealth is being becoming a good devotee. ทรัพย์สินที่แท้จริงไม่ใช่การที่มีเงินทองมากแต่ว่าเป็นการที่เราเป็นสาวกที่ดี If you can become a good devotee, then you can get a very good life. You'll be very happy. And you'll be peaceful, and you won't have a lot of anxiety. ถ้าเราเป็นสาวกที่ดีชีวิตของเราก็จะมีความสุขสงบสุขแล้วก็ราบรื่น But if you become a businessman, if you have a shop and you want to sell clothes like that, then you'll always be in anxiety. You'll never be peaceful. It's always a lot of trouble. แต่ถ้าเราสนใจที่จะเป็นนักธุรกิจขายของขายเสื้อผ้าต่างๆเราก็จะอยู่ในความวิตกกังวลมีความเครียดอยู่ตลอดเวลา You may say, well, I'll just find a job. I'll just work for some. You find a job, but then the, after some time, they may tell you, okay, we don't need you anymore. You have to look for another job. เวลาเราทำงานเราจะทำไปได้สักพักหนึ่งแต่ว่าเราก็จะโดนบอกว่าให้ไปหางานอื่นเพราะว่าเขาไม่ต้องการเราแล้ว Just like just now, in Bangkok, um, so many shops are closed. And so many men they work in the shop, so they have no job. 
there's nothing to do, the shop is closed, there's no business, so they have no job anymore. They just stay at home. So what do you want to do? Where are you go what is your plan? What are you going to do when you grow up? Mohan, what do you want to do? You're going to be a football player? Mohan Prabhuji. What? Is that going to be a football player? No, Maharaj, I do not want to be a football player. Oh, okay. What, are you going to be a kirtanier? You're going to do kirtan? Yes. Go, go, every, go around the world and do bhajan and kirtan, huh? Yes. Oh, very nice. That's a good job. Yeah. Mohan Prabhuji ka tawa ane na khot. Prabhuji ka yaak cha dev thang pe thua lo la ka tham kirtan. You're getting a good training here before, you know, if, if you're doing a lot of kirtan now, when you grow up, you can go on and do more kirtan. People will be happy, they'll always welcome you. They will like you to come to their temple. They will invite you to come and do kirtan. <laughs> In the, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said that in the beginning of life we should learn what are the principles of Sanatan Dharma. It is a Gomar Acharat Pragno Dharmam Bhagavatam Miha. That from the age of Kumar, Kumar means from the age of five. Oh, no, so many of you boys, you're all older than five. You're all over five years old. So you should all be learning what is the principles of. Srimad Bhagavatam, what is the Sanatana Dharma? And when you learn, when you're a young man, what you learn when you're young, you remember when you grow up. So that's important. It will make you a good devotee once you grow up. We need many devotees to, to spread the message of Krishna Kirtan everywhere. Long ago, there was only one Pralat, there was only one Dhruva, but now, because of the Krishna Consciousness Movement, we have many Pralats and many Dhruvas. So Prahlad grew up to be a great devotee, he never forgot Krishna. And Dhruva Maharaj also grew up to be a great devotee and he went back to Godhead. Prahlad Maharaj and Dhruva Maharaj, 
So we are training all of you young men that you will become good devotees and you will also go back to Godhead. You are the students today. Today you are the students, but in the future you will become the teachers. We need many teachers to teach this message of Bhagavad Gita and the message of Srila Prabhupada. There has to be many people to teach it all over the world. It's a great responsibility to Krishna to do some to, to teach this message of Bhagavad Gita to others. It's very pleasing to Lord Krishna if you do that. What do you need to know? Do you need to know the basic teachings? Right, we have to ask. The basic first question is, who are you? Right, who can answer that question? Who are, who are you? Yes? Atma. You are Atma. Very good. Yes. Very nice. That's the correct answer. You are Atma. How old is your Atma? No age. Oh, very good. Yes, you are you are eternal. You are the same age as me. We are all souls. We are all Atmas, we are not the body. I am the same age as all of you. You may look young, I may look old, but we are not the body, that's only the body. Someone has got blue shirt, someone has got white shirt. That's only the shirt. That's not the person. Alright, then who who is the supreme? Who can answer? Krishna. Krishna. Oh. And what is your relationship with Krishna? Yes, who can answer? So what is the relationship? Mohan Rup. We are Krishna's um, son and daughter. That's Krishna is our father. Krishna is the father, and who are you? We are his son, devotee, daughter, son, devotee. 
Yeah, but there's one word particularly we wanted to hear. Krishna is the master, we are the servant. Yes, the right, servant. We are the servant. Krishna is the master and we are the servant. And we are chanting Hare Krishna. This is our service to Krishna. We are all servants, right? Servant of the servant of the servant. Krishna is the master, but we are the servant. Then we may want to know if Krishna is the master, why is he driving the chariot for Arjuna? Mohan Rup, do you know? Krishna is the master, but he's driving the chariot for Arjuna. Because Krishna can uh, will do anything for his devotee. Yes, because Krishna loves his devotees. We have to become a good devotee though. We have to become a good devotee like Arjuna. Not everyone is like Arjuna. We have to become good devotees. Good devotee will do nice chanting of Hare Krishna mantra. And good devotees, they will read the Bhagavad Gita. So we want all of you nice young devotees become very good in chanting Hare Krishna and know also the Bhagavad Gita. First of all, I am a soul. That's the first thing. I'm not the body, I'm a soul. Then second thing is Krishna is the Supreme. Krishna is greater than Shiva. He's greater than Brahma. He's even greater than Vishnu. And we are all servants of Krishna. So on this day we, we pray to Prabhupada, who is a very dear devotee of Krishna. We pray to him, please keep us always in the service of Lord Krishna. And we know that by serving Prabhupada and Remembering Prabhupada, then we're always also going to remember Krishna. Okay, so we will stop here now.
Are there any question? Anybody wants to ask me? Karan, I want to ask you, what about you going to study? Uh, I'm coming in a few weeks, I think. Coming to Taiwan? Yes. In a few weeks? Yes, in Sinju town. Sinju town, okay. It's quite near to Taipei, right? About an hour. Yeah. Yeah, it's not far. About send you about one and a half hours. Are you going Have to... you been to Sinchu? Oh, many times. Huh. Yeah. We have we have devotees in uh, in Miaoli. Miaoli is a, a town not far away from Sinju. Wow. And then we have more devotees in Taichung as well as Taipei. The temple is in Taipei. The temple is in Taipei. There's also regular week, weekly programs in Taichung. And there's also devotees who live in Taoyuan, but they all come to Taipei for the program. Mm. On weekends. Mm. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, very nice for you. Mm. Go there. Okay, so I will stop here. My time is up. We have other programs. Thank you very much for your translation, Karan Prabhu. Thank you, Maharaj. Nice to hear from you. My best wishes to your mother and father. Thank you, Maharaj. And your younger brother and everyone. We are expecting to see you soon here as well. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Hopefully. Mm, yeah, you never know. Okay, Srila Prabhupada ki. Jai. Gaur Bhakti Vrinda ki. Gaur Premanande. Ram, Shyam, ready? Yes, yes, Mataji. Okay, let's start.